Well, he's probably our most offensive minded D. He, he skates really well, has a, a great shot from the point. Um, so he, he's a guy that we like to jump in the play um, and create things on the offensive side of the blue line. He runs our power plays. Um, so that you know, that's a, a dimension that he definitely brings to our hockey club. He's he's a guy that we can count on uh, to make sure everything's right in the room, um, the gym, things like that. He's uh, one of the first guys to volunteer for community events. So there's a reason where he's a letter for our hockey club because when he's away from the rink, he, he's definitely uh, a very good citizen of our community. Yeah, when I was 17, I played for uh, the Vaughn Vipers, which are uh, which was a team in the OJHL uh, back home and. Uh, then when I was 18, my family uh, got transferred out to Vancouver for a year. And at that point, I asked for a trade out to Coquitlam, just close to home, and um, had a pretty good year there, and then uh, ended up coming to Vernon last year. Yeah, I had, uh, I had some shoulder problems uh, about a year ago. I had shoulder surgery at the beginning of last year, um, and got put on the IR, and then um, had an opportunity to come to Vernon um, right at the trade deadline. and. Um, it wasn't I just something I couldn't pass up. Obviously, with this year being such a big year, hosting the RBC, it's just, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, there's there's a bit of a difference. Obviously, um, Coquitlam's a, a great organization as well. Um, Vernon obviously has, has a pretty rich history, and um, even though they've missed the playoffs the last couple of years, there's such a high expectation uh, set by our peer, um, our coaches and, and, and peers, and uh, um, sometimes it's, it's a little, uh, it's not hard to live up to, but it's it's something in that's always in the back of your mind, and uh, you know I think uh, I think we're gonna do pretty well this year, though. Yeah, I, I had a meeting with uh, Willie, and uh, he basically told me go out there and play with um, like you have nothing to lose. Um, with it being my last year, I really don't have anything to lose. I'm trying to get a scholarship, so I just tried to uh, get back to basics, and um, and I've been playing pretty well as of late, and um, just hoping to carry that forward. Yeah, right now I, I think I have pretty good numbers um, offensively. Um, I'm really just trying to uh, be an all-around defenseman. Um, getting the chances offensively right now is pretty good, but um, I'm just trying to uh, focus on my defensive play as well, just so that I can uh, be a good all-around D-man in, in this league. Time now for Rapid Fire with the Vernon Vipers number 21, Jason Murray. Jason, uh, off the top, why number 21? Last year when I came here, that was kind of all that was left over, so I kind of got pinned with it. and. I had a pretty good end of the year, so I just stuck with it. Favorite place to eat in Vernon? I'd have to say Earl's. Yeah, we go there quite a bit, so. It's not bad. Which brand of stick do you use, or would you like to use? Uh, we use the Bauer sticks this year, just because we kind of have to, but um, I'd probably stick with the Bauer. They're pretty good. Disneyland or Hawaii? Oh, Hawaii, for sure. Favorite thing to do back in your hometown of Toronto? <laughs> um... I like to play golf in the summer with my buddies and, uh, you know, just hanging out with friends, I guess. You had an evil laugh. I think there's other things you're up to. Uh, least favorite school subject? Math. You and me both. Uh, which Viper could cook a decent meal? Danny Tadas. Chuck's a great cook. He uh, had me over for dinner the other night, so that was that was good. Best hockey moment to date? Um... I don't know, I think earlier this year when I had the uh, overtime winner in Chilliwack, that was pretty cool. It started our, uh, uh, we had a bit of a streak going there, so it was nice to keep that alive. And So yeah, probably, probably that as of, as of late. Who on the team is most likely to miss a bus trip or a road trip? I have to go with um, Dexter Danks. He's a little bit of a, uh, he's not all there sometimes, so probably go with Dexter. What is your favorite movie of all time? All time, uh, Happy Gilmore. Great flick. What do the guys call you? What's your nickname? <laughs> it's uh, Larry or Lawrence. Um, came to the team last year and uh, Brendan Persley put it on me as Larry Bird, uh, the basketball player from back in the day. So <laughs> I don't think half the team knows my real first name. Everyone just calls me Larry or, or Lawrence. So. <laughs> nice. If you weren't playing hockey, you would be? Probably in school somewhere back home or in Canada. So pretty happy that I'm playing hockey right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you are? Number 21, Jason Bird of the Vernon Vipers.